First off, I'd like to thank you for supporting us. We are the original bed fan manufactured right here in Texas. When you receive your box from us, you will receive a top. You will either receive the tall top or the short top, depending on which version you ordered. You will also receive two clips. These clips will be used to hold the top in place at the right height. You will also receive the base, which holds the fans and the power supply with the controller. Installing the bed fan is very simple. First, pull back your comforter. Then you want to untuck your top sheet. Place the bed fan at the foot of the bed on the location that you would like for it to be. There will be some writing on the back of the bed fan. Go ahead and disregard that. It's not used anymore. You can set the bed fan pointing under the bed or you can put the base pointing out from the bed. Either way is fine. Once you have it in position, go ahead and put the top section onto the base and measure that for the right height. You want to be about a half an inch or so above the top of the mattress. Once you have that in position, use a pencil to mark the bottom where the tabs will go. Take the top off and place the tabs so that the shoulder of the tab is in line with the pencil mark. You can lower the top back onto the base. Simply squeeze the tabs a little bit and push the base down. You're set. The next thing you want to do is put the top sheet back on and tuck it in nice and tight. One thing about the top sheet that I need to mention is the higher the thread count, the better it will work. So if you have a, a top sheet that's about a 200 thread count, it's probably not going to work very good because what's going to happen is the thread gap between the threads is so big with like a 200 thread count sheet that the air is able to just go right between the threads. And it doesn't travel along the, the sheet like it's supposed to and cool your body. So the higher the thread count, the better. Get like a 450 or somewhere around there, 600, the higher the better. And when you turn it on, you can see the air is trapped in the sheets. It's not coming out where it's going in. And there's enough air there to lift up the comforter as well as the sheet. So once you get into bed, that air is just going to travel right along your body and exit out by your shoulders. It's pretty simple. Again, let me remind you that one of the most important things other than having a high thread count is to keep the top sheet tucked in nice and tight around the bed fan at the foot of the bed. And make sure you don't have anything blocking the inlet of the fans, such as a longer bed skirt. And you shouldn't have any problem at all. If you have any questions, just email me. I'd be happy to help.